Hey everybody, it's Jess here with Blessed Jess, and this is my husband David. If you haven't picked up your Blessed Jess t-shirt yet, make sure you do so by clicking on the Always link right up. underneath the window. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, honey. You're okay, welcome. so shameless we, plug. <laughs> we are back today to do part two of our new flavor taste test. A lot of products, for whatever reason right now, have new flavors. And it is the season to try a bunch of sweet stuff. Yes. <laughs> this is the candy version. We did yeah. chips and soda and all that. You want to watch that? C3, It'll be down chips, below. cookies, and Coke. Yeah, it was really good. Yes, it but was. But we have even a bigger video today, and that is candy. Mm -hmm. We started get, gathering stuff for this video because we would go to the store and see all these new flavors and know we want to do a taste test, and it has grown. Because it has multiplied. Every time we go to the store, we're like, oh, man, we have to add this. We have to add this. So yep. we're going to give you guys the lowdown. And there's still stuff out there we didn't get oh, to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but we're going to give you the lowdown on what is good, what the is lowdown. gross. The lowdown. Does anybody say the lowdown anymore? I say it. Okay. Okay, so we're going to get started. We have quite a few things, so we're going to move pretty quickly. We're going to rank on a scale of one to five, one being the worst, five being the best. So what should we start with? Let's get these over with because okay. you've already said you're probably not going to like these them. These are Twizzler. No, you got it up yeah. There's a great one. Twizzlers. This is the orange. Dreamsicle, creamsicle, whatever you want to call it. orange cream pop. Yeah. I normally don't like these uh, Twizzlers twists. I don't like the texture. Of them. I agree with her. The best Twizzler is the original strawberry hard Twizzler. Yeah, these are too chewy or something. But I don't these know. look like orange with a cream filling. So, tastes like creamsicle. Flavor's not terrible, but I like them. It's a little bit strong. A little bit baked tasting. Yeah. Still not better than I strawberry. Buy this. I, I, buy I would eat a whole pound of the strawberry one. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to take some of the men's retreat. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these. I would not waste your money. Yeah, I'm going to say I don't know. Oh, come on. They're better than a one. I don't like them. Okay. Let's move on to, let's go stick with the kind of fruity thing. Next up, the Peeps Delight. I will say these things are not cheap. They were like two fifty at Kroger. You only get three, but they are Peeps Delight orange sherbet, orange sherbet flavored marshmallow dipped in decadent cream flavored fudge. Translation: Dreamsicle. Yeah. So it's like a. Is it, okay, is it Dreamsicle or Creamsicle? I've heard Dream, both. Dreamsicle is the brand. Creamsicle yeah, is like okay, whatever. There we go. So it's basically an orange peep, and it has this white chocolate bottom. Okay. Okay, so let's taste it. Hmm. It's like a white chocolate bottom. I like that. I'm not a huge fan. It's okay. You're a peep purist. I like peeps. And I don't really, I love the milk chocolate cover. Mm. I'm not a huge fan of like a white chocolate. I like I like the juxtaposition of the soft meets the crunchy. I like it. I'll say a two, but it's not really worth the price to me. Okay, let's stay on the dip. He's trying to open everything. That's right. Wow. Okay. Okay. These are the Peeps Delights coconut flavored marshmallow dipped in decadent dark chocolate. So I think I'm going to like it. We'll see. Hate coconut. Hate dark chocolate. Mm. I like them. Reminiscent of a almond joy flavor. The dark chocolate's not super dark, though. It's I, pretty good. I can tolerate it. I'll, I still don't think it's worth the price. Can I tell I wear my emotions on my face? I don't think it's worth the price for two fifty dollars for three of them. I'll go two. Um, but not terrible. Now, the next one, if you miss, I will leave you down below. I said two. Oh. No, two? I didn't. Three. I'll say, say three. I'll say, I'll say you, you like that much better than I did. Um... If we did a whole Peeps taste test last year, last year, so I'll link that down below. But one of the flavors that we didn't have was the cotton candy. And Lucy saw this. This has been sitting on our counter for probably driving Lucy crazy. A week. And she keeps saying, Have y'all done your taste test yet? Because I want the Peeps. I want the Peeps. She loves cotton candy flavored things. And these are pink and with like little swell alone. Whoa. Yeah. I like these are just classic Peep texture. It's not very strong. Mm -mm. I don't know that I could pinpoint that that's cotton candy. I can. The sprinkles add it. It doesn't. It ha doesn't have that strong cotton candy flavor. No, it gets stronger. It gets stronger. You have not to bite. You, you have to bite a lot of the blue. 
Is it the blue part? This the blue part adds the crackled texture of the sugar with a little bit of that hint of cotton candy flavor. I don't I don't feel like it's strong enough. The cotton candy flavor is not strong enough. But it's not bad. I like it. I think it's strong. I'm gonna say like a three. I have a three too. That's okay. Lucy's gonna love them. Lucy's going to love them. They're yeah. perfect for her. They're perfect for her. Yeah. Okay, so what should we go with next? The candy bars? Or uh, let's let's do um, let's do the thumbnails next. Okay, so these we are super excited about. David had to search around for, <laughs> for this one <laughs> for a while. We found him. Yeah. So this is the now all of the new M and M flavors uh, that they have out right now are peanut, which is really cool because yep. last year they were all. Um, no, they were mixture. They were a mixture last year. Yeah, they had crunchy mint. They had uh, uh, coffee nut, and they had um, okay, that's right, uh, espresso. So, but these are all peanut this year. So that's exciting because we love the peanut if you, mm -hmm. you haven't seen that video. This is English toffee peanut for the okay. first one. This one sounds the best. And this one was the hardest for you to find. So, right. When I found the other two, they didn't have any of these left on the shelf. So then I came back and they found this one. Oh man, I love English toffee. It's one of my favorite things in the world. That's way too strong of a flavor. Mm. It is a strong flavor. That flavor is really strong. What is that flavor? That's the toffee flavor. Hmm. It's almost like coffee. It all it, it does take like, taste kind of like coffee, which is weird because English toffee isn't coffee. No, but this tastes like coffee. It does taste like coffee. I don't know. I I don't love it, and I love English toffee. It's just okay. It kind of tastes like a coffee flavor. The peanut, thing. the peanut keeps it for me in a one. For and me. if you remember. The um, ones that were supposed to taste like coffee last year, I didn't even taste the coffee. Because you're weird. They but taste this, so much like coffee. But this tastes even more like because coffee. Because this is str almost as strong as the espresso yeah. ones. Okay, next up. Yes, I call her weird all the time, and it's endearing. Oh, yeah, super. Okay. <laughs> next up is the Thai coconut peanut. I have very high hopes for this one. He doesn't like coconut, but we're all going to get through it. Ooh, and these are very colorful in the bag. Do you see that? Don't worry about closing it. We will do that. We'll do that later. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. You get the coconut at the end. Yeah, you do. It tastes cool like coconut. It has a cooling effect. I like these. I'm going to say four. Peanut keeps it from being a one. It has a very strong coconut taste. So, um... They just came out with three new flavors that I could not care less for. Staying positive. Okay. This is. I'm just being honest, guys. Okay. Now this one we're very intrigued about. This is Mexican jalapeno peanuts. This I'm just excited to try because of the, so different of the variety of flavor in it. Okay. Let's see how spicy Cause I, it is. Because I like I like a little bit of the Mexican flair to it. I sense it. There it comes. You get the heat at the very end. It's so weird. Is it so sweet? And in the back of your throat, you feel the heat. Wow. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. It burns real bad in the back of your throat. That's hot. Yeah. You know, I don't taste it on my tongue, though. It's mostly like in the back of my throat. It's definitely hot. It is not mild. That's interesting. Yeah. For the experience alone, I'm going to go four. Really? Uh, but what, yeah. what, like, as far as taste, though? Again, it's got peanut in it and chocolate. But would you buy, I mean, a four is pretty strong. Would you sit and eat these? For the experience. Yeah. It has a really good flavor. I don't know. Would I'd I buy, buy it, it again? again? No. No. Yeah. But it's good yeah. if you want to try something different. So but They're all as advertised. So you're, yeah. you're getting what you want. Sort of, except the English toffee was not real strong. It was more coffee for me. Well, I was a little disappointed in that. Um... I'm just saying, if, you, if you're telling me, is the flavor dead on to what it is, then yeah, they're all fives. But if you, it's one if you like it or want the experience or not. So. Okay. So, last m and this is not one of the new ones. Uh, it is new, but it's new for Easter. These are marshmallow the white chocolate marshmallow, which seems kind of weird. Like, mm. how? I'm not a huge fan of marshmallow as it is. I, I mean, not marshmallow, white chocolate. I love marshmallow. White chocolate. I taste the marshmallow for sure. That's good. Actually, is I kind of like how it. It's like marshmallow cream. 
Well, it's, good. it's not chewy like a marshmallow. Well, yeah. It's a cream filled. Yeah, it's just a flavoring. I love that. I'm not huge on white chocolate, so I probably wouldn't buy them, but they're good. I'll say three to four. That's good. Okay. Now we have a wide variety of candy bars. So, which ones should we start with? Let's, let's, um, you want to alternate them or do you want to do all no, the No, we need to together? have them, all the, all these together. So do we want to do them now? Okay, let's, let's do the Snicker ones later then. Of these two, this is the least favorite. So let's start with that one. What? Of these two that are not Snickers, let's do Three Musketeers birthday cake. Okay, yeah. David found this. I've never seen the Three Musketeers birthday, birthday cake. cake. Yeah. Very, very interesting. It looks like, yeah, it's white on the inside instead of uh, like a chocolate, like normal Three Musketeers. If you look closely, there's colored sprinkles in mm -hmm. there. Did you just put the whole thing in your mouth? It's like that big. It does taste like a birthday cake frosting in the middle. It's airy like a Three Musketeers, but it definitely has the flavor of birthday cake icing. That's cool. It's really good. And I'm not a huge fan of Three Musketeers, but this is really good. I kind of like how it's really rich because I wouldn't be able to eat more than just a few bites. I'll say four as well. I'll go four on That's that. That's definitely good. Okay. I think Meg should be better than the original. All right, next up is another new one we found. And this is the Milky Way Fudge. Now, so, this has a chocolate nougat. It's milk chocolate, creamy caramel, and fudge nougat. So, this might actually be a difference It might be good for, for me because I don't like regular nougat. So... Dang. Okay. Wow. Okay. Chocolate nougat as advertised. Yeah. Weird texture. That's good. It's really rich still. Real rich. Well, yeah, it's it's fudge. And so. still, there's still a nougat enough about it that's not my favorite. But the but the, because it's a fudge nougat, it's actually thicker. Yeah, I don't know if I like this. It's almost brownie. It's really rich. That's good, though. It's okay. I'm going five I'll on say that. Three. It's just I'm a going too rich five on that. That's okay, delicious. These are probably what I'm most excited about because I saw these, and this is this is what spurred the whole new flavor taste yeah, test. Yeah, these look delicious. We have new Snickers here. So we have, you don't even like Snickers. I know, and that's why I'm excited about these because they look really good. This is a Snickers creamy almond butter. Yummy. Creamy maple almond butter, which Yummy. I love maple flavored things. It's my favorite. And the one I'm looking forward to the most. Creamy peanut butter. Yes. All right, so let's start with the almond butter because I feel like it's the most. Because I've had peanut butter Snickers, so I'm looking forward to what these are like. it comes in four little mini squares. Okay, so almond butter first. I love almond butter, too. You definitely get the almond butter. That's good. It's really good. Mmm. I like this because it does have those big chunks of peanuts. It's very smooth. Almost like a Reese cup with caramel. A little bit. Sort of. A little bit. It, you really taste the almond butter. That's really good. Okay. That's very good. I'm most excited about this one because I love, yeah, four, maybe five for me. Mm. I love maple flavored. I don't think I've ever had maple. Donuts. I, don't think I I've love ever maple had flavored maple. candy. I love it. This is maple almond butter, though, mm -hmm. so is this just maple flavor added to what we just had? I smell the maple. Mm-hmm. This does have nuts in it. Does this one have nuts, too? A little bit. Okay. I don't know. It's okay. It's a little missing. It's either missing something or too much of I think maple. it smells stronger than it tastes. I'm not loving that, and I really love maple. I think the almond butter one's the best one so far. I don't know. I smell it. I mean, I taste it. I smell it. Real I, sm I, smell I taste it too, but it's just not what I wanted. I don't know. Now, here's how you, maple here's how you finish the night right here. Peanut butter Snickers. Heaven. You put peanut butter on anything that's good. And there is a peanut butter Snickers out there. Oh, okay. sir? Mm-hmm. No, though. I love the consistency. I kind of like the almond butter one the best. No, Which this, one is it? This is the best for me. This is a five. This is so good. I kind of like the almond butter one better. Not me. They're good, though. These are really good. Man, they're so good. You definitely should try them. So out of all of these new things, which is something you would buy again? 
I had one five, honey. Snickers peanut butter. That's the best one. And I really like the almond butter one, but I don't know that I could eat a whole bar. But I like how they come in these little fours. So if you wanted to buy one, you could break it up into four servings. And even and even though some of these weren't my taste or my flavor, they're really fun. They're, they're as advertised. So if you love chocolate and coconut, get those M and M's. If you want the heat, get the pepper. Yeah, these are really interesting for sure. Interesting. The best new M and M flavor that I've had in recent years that's new is the raspberry. That was so that was really good. good. And I and it was like white chocolate too. But I normally don't like white chocolate. No, it wasn't white chocolate. It wasn't. Okay. It was raspberry crunch. I can't remember. It was good. Yeah. Anyway. That is our new flavor taste test. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. Make sure you click on the bell so every time she posts in a video, you'll get notified immediately. We love you guys. We'll see you all later. Bye. Bye.